Hi, cozy friends. We are trying the witchy life story demo. It's only available until May 9th, which is tomorrow for me currently. I'm so excited to try it. I'm sad that the demo isn't for a little bit longer, but hopefully um, this little playthrough will get us excited. I have no idea what to expect. Let's let's try it. It looks so freaking cute. Like literally just the character creation. Oh, okay, player name, obviously Ken. I love that they have ugh, a variety of pronouns. She, her, okay. Oh my gosh, look at the inclusive body types. Thank you very much. Body hair, I'm gonna do no, I'm not, a, not that, that hairy. I love the freckles, keep the freckles. Tattoos, I don't have tattoos. No body hair, I do have moles. Let's see, let's go a little bit lighter like that maybe i think one one is the most accurate yeah we'll go with one okay so we did body we're doing face romantic oh oh cute please have something oh that could work okay i think we'll do the long curly yeah we'll do long curly we'll make it dark brown okay eyes let's make them dark brown first I like these, I think. Eight, was it eight? I either like eight or I like one, but I feel like my those are a little downturned and my eyes are not downturned at all. Those are kind of cute too, but I don't have very round eyes. Those are like more similar in shape to mine, but and I look kind of mad. So I'm gonna do those. Eyebrows. I think those, what is that, 10? Ooh, either 10 or two, but two looks very surprised. Ooh, I like four. Four is cute. Okay, between four and 10. I think I'm gonna go with four. I really like four. Oh, I think that's the right nose. Ooh, or seven. Ooh. Let's do this one. I'm trying to think on like this greater base. It is, we'll do this one. Maybe that one. Oh, I like that one. I like the smirk. I think we'll do this one. All right, features. Let's see, lips. Oh, give me lips. Oh, I can't have lips. That's fair. Ooh, but what if I can do, okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Let's do the, let's do the mouth with lips. And then let's give me, oh, okay. I can't do lips. <laughs> All right, we'll just do this one. <laughs> Forget the lips. Okay, blush, <gasps> cute. <gasps> oh my God, I think it's gotta be blush, blush too. Oh, or we'll do three, it's kind of more subtle. But I love, I love the, I love, I think we gotta do two. Freckles, we'll do these ones. Mole, I don't have a mold that big. No, no, okay. Fashion, let's see. Jumpsuit, Sh stop it, this is so cute. Oh, <gasps> the Western outfit. Oh my God, these are so cute, what? Oh, stop it. Oh, the cutest clothing I've seen in any game ever. 100% cutest clothing. What? I can't decide between the short dress and the Western outfit. Oh my gosh, let's look at the, oh my God, so cute, the daisy chain. <gasps> the mini flower, the little mini hat. Stop it, stop right now. <gasps> the pointy hat, oh, the floppy hat. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my, I'm not okay, I am not. I am not okay. Let me go back to the Western outfit and see if any of these look good. They all look good. I kind of like the hat. I'm a witch. I need to wear a hat. I like the hat and a dress. But the, this hat is so stinking cute. And it matches with the blue. But the brown matches with the shoes. I don't know. The glasses are cute. I wish you could change the color. I'm going to do no glasses. Got to do earrings. Oh, yeah. I think I'll do the hoops. Oh my God, she's so cute. I've never had a character this cute. <gasps> oh my God, I thought I accidentally randomized it. I've never had a character this cute in my life. Maybe Sims when I did like custom content, but it's not this charming, this is adorable. My name's Ken Von Teasel. I'm 18 years old and I have a crow familiar named Ramsey. I dislike listening to my gran and people and drama, fair girl. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Everyone in my family thinks I'm hopeless, which is why they sent me here to the village of Flora to prove I'm worthy of having the Von Tiesel name or whatever. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my grand told me 
This is so cute. The colors, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Ka ka. Yeah, the village is pretty small. Do people actually live here? Ka ka. We need to go to the town hall. Right, Grant said something about that. Ka ka. Whatever. It was there. Well, it was Grant's choice to send me here. The rest of my family just wanted to disown me. Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? And they could have just accepted my genius, let me do my own thing, allowed me to work on that. I'm gonna say let me do my own thing, but no. So I acted out a little, they deserved it. And don't tell me you didn't think it was a little funny. I need to get my frustrations out somehow. No, Ken, that's not how you hold an anthem. Ken, why don't you wear the traditional Von Teasel garb? A Von Teasel shouldn't speak like that. Are you sure she's really a Von Teasel? Maybe someone switched her up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's better not to give them any mind. And they're not here to say things, but they're still gonna judge me at the end of it all. This bird is so cute. Sure, let's head to town hall. The mayor's supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? Mm, is this the mayor? I think this is it. No, you knock. You don't have hands? Use your beak. Suddenly the door opens. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. Can I help you? The mayor, I'm Ken Von Teasel. Ken? Yes. Von Teasel? Yes. Is Margie with you? Margie. Marjorie and Von Teasel. Oh, my gran. No, I see. Will Marjorie be joining you later? No, I see. <laughs> Gran, um, Marjoram said you'd be expecting us? Well, we were expecting a Von Teasel, but truth be told, we were expecting the letter? Oh, that's right. My Gran said to give this to you. You take a letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more. I see. I asked Margie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time, and Margie sends me her grandchild who needs to prove she is worthy of training. Ugh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Pardon me. I lost focus there for a little. Are you sure? I just should have expected something like this is all. So you're in trouble. Just a little. You do know what you're doing. Yes, for the most part. <laughs> it's more of whether I want her face. It's more of whether I want to do what I know I should be doing. Then tell me, Ken, was it? Why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't you be finishing your training at your age? I guess. I think it's time for my morning nap. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Mm-hmm. This letter also mentioned something about a magazine. Magazine? My grand mentioned a magazine? Why did Grant have to mention the magazine? Coven Pollington? That sounds familiar now that I think about it. That's right, it's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who is an ardent reader. Do you know? Just your luck. It was all a big joke, really. No harm was really intended. Though I guess the jade eggs, weed cleansing, mushroom tea, gotta be mushroom tea, pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under an alias, Avon Elset. So it's not like readers knew it was Von Teasel Witch. My grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon Elset's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course. So we shouldn't expect any of the same shenanigans? No! Uh, and did your grandmother explain what you'd be doing here in Flora? Helping out with a festival or something, yeah? I kind of only half listened. We're hosting our annual Harvest Festival, the Floralia Festival, in two weeks. As you know, Harvest Festivals are held to bless our villages and land with prosperity and abundance. However, for the past, well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, our Harvest Festival has been lacking, and thus Flora has grown smaller and smaller, and this year is looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Marjor Mar Marjoram. I feel like all our energies are just off somehow. I was hoping she'd, she'd help us with our festival, but you got me instead. Perhaps this task means Marjoram trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. More like she wanted to distance me and the family. Sometimes space is just the thing we need. Well, either way, I suppose we'll just have to make do. How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? All right. You, Ruth, and Ramsey make your way down the hall. Ruth knocks on the office door. Come in. Hello, Mel. This is Ken, the witch who'll be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness, hello! You look around at Mel's office, you notice all the candles, incense charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging magic. You look so young. That's because she is. This is my friend's grandchild. I see, I see. Mel is my second in command. She's been a big help coordinating everything for the festival these past years. Yep, yep, yep. And this year's gonna be the best. I just remembered, I have a meeting to go to. If I run, I should still make it on time. Mel is right down the hall. Mel runs out the door before you can say anything. She has a lot of energy. That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way. This is so freaking cute. Okay, so we're just meeting people. Let's go here first. This is the art studio. My granddaughter, Nisha, should be around here somewhere. Oh, what the heck? Now I've got to clean up your mess again. Nisha, is everything okay? Ha, yeah. I just accidentally knocked over some paints is all. Um, 
Who are you? Nisha, that's not very polite. I'm Ken, your witch for the next two weeks. Weren't we expecting someone a lot older? Ken is my friend's grandchild and a witch in training. A witch in training? Don't we need a witch out of training? It'll be fine. Ken is a Von Teasel after all. Mm-hmm. Well, we should continue with our introductions. Sure, see you around. Bye. He turned and whispered to Ramsey. I get the feeling she doesn't like us very much. All right, let's go to the shop. Is it a shop? That's right, we do have a store in Flora. Somehow I always forget about this store. How do you forget about a village's single store? You should be able to buy some spell materials here. You approach the shop and try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. In fact, the store looks empty. You should try coming back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. All right. You walk to the town square. It's in a state of disarray. This is where we hold the Floralia Festival. I know it looks a little chaotic, but it'll come together, I'm sure. Jonas can be pretty dependable. Can be. Jonas, are you around? Hey. Whoa, is that a crow? Did you befriend it or something? Ramsey's my familiar. Familiar? Is that what they call pets these days? Ken is a witch. Oh, Jonas steps back a little. What's his deal? Our usual builder injured himself the other week, so Jonah's taking over in his place. Yep, tomorrow's my first full day in charge. How are things going? Good, I think. Everything should be in tip-top shape by the festival. Good, good. Well, we'll be on our way. Mm, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Jonas walks away at a brisk pace, weirdo. You approach a cafe. Let's see if Jean's around. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh, we're just stopping by. This is Ken, the witch, who's helping us out for the festival. Hmm. <laughs> Have you met Mel yet? Yes. Are you also into witchcraft? Hmm. Jean and Mel are married. Really? I mean, hmm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, we'll be on our way. I just wanted to give a quick introduction. Goodbye. Jean walks off and tends to a customer. Jean can be quiet, but he's a wonderful baker. Make sure to stop by for a treat sometime. Oh, I love treats. All right, one last one. This is my home. Let's see if anyone is here. You walk into the home. You hear someone playing the guitar. That must be Devin. Devin, can you come here for a moment? Oh, I'm um, sure, Ruth. Oh, he's so cute. Wow, this person looks uncomfortable. Maybe we came at a bad time. Devin, this is Ken, the witch I mentioned. Uh, hello. Devin is friends with my granddaughter, Nisha. They'll be writing the music for our festival. <laughs> That's great. I think it'll be wonderful. Well, we should let Devin get back to work. Nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Devin shuffles their, their way back upstairs. Oh, Devin. You slow down and put some distance between you and Ruth. Psst, Ramsey. Do you get the feeling people here don't like which crap? Ruth turns around. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. I think it's time I show you your home. It's the one with the garden just this way. This one? This is my home? Oh, <gasps> where do you want to go? Home. Oh my God, it's so cute. You walk into a small cottage. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but hopefully it's to your liking. Hmm, it'll do. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send in our orders. The garden is just through that door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need out there too. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. I think that's everything. We're glad you're here to help us. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid our village tour has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyways. Tomorrow's your first day on the job. Sure, um, thanks for the tour. Of course, goodbye now. Ruth heads out. Ramsey. Yeah, all those introductions were a little awkward. Ugh, why did Grant do this to me? They don't want me here. And I don't want to be here. Getting disowned would have been so much easier. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Think, Ken, think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. Calendar, 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 calendar. Yes, this is it. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. We just need to help out or whatever until then. Then on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all their problems or whatever right then and there. <coughs> cheating? How's that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? I didn't think so. Do I really want to go back home though? I don't know, but we need to get out of here first. The rest we can figure out later. Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. I'm gonna need it for tomorrow. But I wanna look at everything now. Though I guess getting some rest is a good idea. Okay, okay. I'm ready to end the day. Let's sleep. It's so cute. It is such a cute game. Is it morning already? I think it's time for beauty magic. Can I sleep a little longer? Let's get back to the experiment. Beauty magic. Huh, I have work to do? No, I thought that was a bad dream. <laughs> Well, maybe if you didn't remind me, I could have stayed in my ignorant bliss. At least these requests give me a chance to show off my skills. I'll have this village prepared for this festival. I mean, full moon in no time. And everyone will be amazed. Yes, yes. I'll go check my mail now. Hi, Ken. Oh, alrighty. What do we have here? It looks like our first request is from Ruth the Mayor. Let's see what intentions and associations we can pull from her letter. Dear Ken, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I've been feeling a little detached from everyone recently. I've especially felt disconnected from the festival. I do still care, but who knows? Maybe some incense could help me work through some things. <sighs> okay. All right. Looks like Ruth needs some relationship-focused incense with a pink ingredient and another one associated with Venus. 
All right, Grant always blows things out of proportion. Fine, I'll quit complaining and keep reading, jeez. Hi, Ken, it's Mel and I's anniversary soon. Mel likes magic. Perhaps a potion that could help us celebrate our current and future happiness together would be a good gift. Okay, relationship, yellow. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Hi, Ken. I hope I'm not bothering you. Could you craft some incense that attracts positive energy? Ideally, something that promotes tranquility. Maybe happiness, too. All right. Positive energy, blue, and whatever that is. Yeah, none of these seem too complicated. I guess it's time to gather materials and ingredients. We can go to the general store next to purchase bottles and stuff. Or we can gather ingredients from the garden. Which one do you think we should do first? I should open my grimoire first? Yes. I'll make sure to make a habit of checking my inventory in active orders. Press G to open your grimoire. Flip through the pages or use the tabs to go to different sections. All right, so here's like the colors. All right. Oh, so Rose has a lot. Okay. This is so freaking cute. Look at this. Order. So we know who we have orders for right now. All right. And we have recipes. I guess we collect these after we like learn about them. We have different plants and then our inventory. So now we go to the gardener village shop, right? Through the door we go. Hi, buddy. Can you stop doing that? Your treat. Okay, okay. One trocrete coming up. Trocrete, tro trocrete, crow treat. And that's enough for today. Grant says too many treats are bad for your beak. Oh, so he was he was cheaping because he wanted a treat? Okay, Let's see what's in our, oh, okay. So we can always change that. That's fun. It's good to know. Testing all the things I can click. I can click this. Oh, wow. This is so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. So witchy, I love it. <gasps> you can just change what's up here. Oh, I want the really, I want this one. Or do I want this one? Yeah, I want this one. So stinking cute. This is so cute. I'm guessing, I'm hoping these don't have a specific like effect and I, I'm just doing this to customize. Cute. I genuinely don't know what all of this is. I'm just playing around. So cute. <laughs> that was fun <laughs> and totally not what I should be doing. Okay, we're in the garden. Honestly, it's a little creepy how well maintained this is. Do they really not know who did it? Yes, I know it's my problem now regardless. Gotta pick water and weed everything. At least it seems like we've got a compost bin. We can probably use that to turn weeds into fertilizer. That should help the plants grow a little faster. Yay, gardening. I totally missed what you said. Okay, so we need to have, we need to collect some flowers. I don't wanna cut all of them. Oh, I can, can I cut these weeds? No. Oh, there we go. <gasps> this is so cute. I love this. So do I do I take all the flowers? We've got the weeds. I guess we just take all the flowers and then we just water. So cute. Okay, let's go back and cut these flowers too. All right, let's do this one. Snip, 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 snip. Water. I thought they change color when you water them. Got the weeds. Okay, and then, awesome. So we have some fertilizer. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, that's how it works. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's, well, we learned. <laughs> we learned. All right. We wasted some of our flowers. That's okay. Um, Let's go. Gardening done to the general store now. All right, so village, general store. Hello, my name is Jimena. You must be Ken, the new witch. I knew it was a good idea to keep my old stock around. No good throwing things away that someday someone might buy. I also carry some antiques at a premium price. My daughter sends them to me while she's off on her travels. She always says she will visit with her girlfriend, but we'll see. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. Take some of this resin and these bottles, vials, and sachets free of charge. They'll promise me next time you come to my shop, you'll buy one of the antiques. No one here has an appreciation for old things. But now it's time for my mid-morning tea, so I must close the shop. Enjoy the supplies. Thanks, lady. <laughs> yeah, that shopkeeper was pretty generous. But did you see the price tag on those antiques? I hope she was kidding about having to buy them. Anyways, it looks like I've got everything to start cranking out these spells. Let's get back inside and check out the crafting altar. Please, that's all I want is to craft. I've got some flowers and herbs and some bottles, vials, and stuff as base materials. So let's craft some spells. 
Of course, I don't know what spells, but I'm sure I can figure it out from the info in my grimoire. We just need to match the associations from the letters to the right ingredients and use a bottle, vial, sachet, or resin depending on what the villager requested. So let's open the grimoire and go from there. Okay, open your grimoire and go to the orders tab to see the current orders. Click the chest of drawers to view your available plant ingredients. Click the chest of drawers, okay. Use the information in the plant section to match the symbols from the orders to the plants. There should be three plant ingredients total. Make sure to check the types of spell the villagers wants too. You can see what base material matches what spell type in the recipe section. Once you think you have the right ingredients and materials, click cauldron, click the cauldron to craft the spell. Oh, okay. This is hard, besties, I I'm confused. Orders, okay. Do I need some positive, peaceful and positive incense? So we want peaceful, positive, blue, and I have no idea what that planet is. Potion for anniversary. Okay, so we have two of the same. Potion and incense. Let's start with the incense. Is resin incense? Bottle resin file. I'm guessing resin is incense, right? Okay, so we have one of these, and then love. Oops, what? Okay, so I'm guessing this is just like a... Oh, here we go. Okay, spells fall into four categories. Love, prosperity, protection, and healing. Certain spells are also require specific vessels. They are for potions, for charms, for oils, for incense. Enchantments are magically charged items tuned to the person requesting it. They require a deep understanding of the requestee, their situation, as well as a few special ingredients. Okay, so for incense, I need those. For potions, I need that. So yeah, I just can't. I don't know until lavender, rosemary... Rose is for love. Rosemary is for protection. Why are there only these four, you know? Oh, there, okay, wow, okay. I'm dumb. So we need this for this planet, pink for this planet. Maybe we'll just do two hollyhock, and what, what was it, a geranium? Al allium, two hollyhock and an allium. Okay, give me two hollyhock, wait, is that the hollyhock? Allium, two, two. I have to do two different ones? Oh shit, okay. Well, we'll just do another pink one. And then, how do I make sure it's resin? There we go, okay. <sighs> so this is what I'm guessing. Two pink flowers, cause it's pink. And then this one for the planet. I don't know what love, I don't know. Wait, let me check the love one. Love, maybe I do rose instead. <gasps> Ugh. Maybe I do rose instead of the other pink one. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Instead of this one, because that's pink, that's that one. Let's do rose. Okay. <gasps> For love. And then it's incense. Okay. Reconnect incense. All right. Can we give this to Rose? Let's see if it worked. Kaka. <laughs> no, I didn't forget to craft the spells. Oh, I have to do all of them? Okay. Orders. So we have hers. Let's do Jean's. Jean needs love, pink, and that. So rose, hollyhock, and candula, calendula. Rose, hollyhock, calendula. Rose, hollyhock, is this the calendula? Calendula. Oh, and he wants a potion. Let's do it, let's try it. <gasps> Happy love potion, yay. Okay, so then we just need the protection one. This is so fun. <laughs> we just need the protection one. Okay, so we need protection. Rosemary, pea flower, and yarrow. Rosemary, pea flower, and yarrow. Double check. Rosemary, pea flower, and yarrow. Okay. Oh, wait. Incense. There we go. Whew. Thank you for not letting me do the wrong one. Blessing incense. All right. We did them all. They're so cute. All done. All done, time to deliver these amazing spells. Now, how do I mail them? But what if I just sneak in a little extra, please? And then everyone will be super impressed and my grand will realize my genius. Hey now, a witch is allowed to dream. Let's just get this done. You ready to head out, Ramsey? Wait, you're not coming with me? I've gotta do this on my own? Please, Ramsey, don't make me do it. But what if I give you some tasty bug treats later? I know they're your favorite. Fine, be that way. See if I ever help you again with this situation you loathe. All right, village, stupid Ramsey. I'll have to make him a special snack. <laughs> I don't need him. I don't want to talk to people, but I guess I will now. Put on your social face, Teasel. You can do this. All right, let's deliver his first. First delivery, Ken. You've got this. What's that smell? You approach the door to Jean's home, and you see the door slightly ajar with smoke coming out of it. Oh, no, Jean, are you in there? My first day on the job, and my client may be burning to a crisp, but at least that's not my fault. 
<clears throat> Jean is in there. I've got to get him out. Hang on, Jean. I'm coming in. You run into the house and see Jean covering his mouth as she tries to fan out the smoke with a towel. Let me get the windows. You run around opening all the windows. Once open, the smoke quickly dissipates from the house. What happened? Are you okay? Jean looks down at the baking sheet full of burnt something. I see. Um, well, I've got your potion. <laughs> Give Jean a happy love potion. Jean, maybe ignoring you, starts cleaning up the burnt mess. I guess I'll or just leave this on the counter. Grumbles. I'll take that as a yes. You put the potion on the counter and take a peek at Jean. He looks very angry. Maybe chatting will help take his mind off things. So it's your anniversary? Do you have any fun plans? <laughs> How long have you been? Please leave, huh? Now. Okay. <laughs> He's mean. What if the rest of my deliveries are like this? I want to go home. <laughs> I love the voice of this person. I feel like it's like everybody. Everybody our age. <laughs> All right. Hopefully Devin's is a little better. Please. You arrive at Ruth and Nisha's home, hoping to catch Devin. They seemed pretty nervous the last time you met. You should probably do your best not to make any sudden movements. Hi, um, Ken, right? Are you here to deliver the spell? Yep, yep, just let me find it. It's this one, right? Blessing. Thanks, I hope Ruth and Nisha like them. Hmm, they seem to be more talkative today than yesterday. You wonder why. Back home, my family use, uses these to cleanse our house once a season. It's just a little ritual we do, but I've always liked it. You have a witch back in your village? Yep, he's been around for ages. Everyone in the village loves him. Though I think our village is a little more open to magic than Flora. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, I can't tell if folks are happy to have me here or not. Their welcoming was a little odd. Though I guess I wasn't exactly what they asked for. I'm sure they are. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Huh? I'm not upset. You're not? No, not at all. What they think isn't my problem. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. I just have to show them how great I am. Oh, wow. What, you don't think I could do it? That's just, that's a lot of confidence is all. Confidence is my middle name. Or my curse, if you ask my gran. Oh, I see. I'm a little jealous. Even with your quirks. Quirks? You seem like a very secure person. I very much enjoy being me. Even though you must feel lonely not knowing anyone here. I have Ramsey. And your grandmother sent you here without telling you the complete truth. How do you know about that? Also, the pressure of not failing so you can complete your training must be a lot to deal with. News travels way too fast in small villages. Is this what it's normally like talking to other people? Because I suddenly feel very heavy. Oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Nisha says I have a way of reaching into people's souls and crushing them. <laughs> Is this witchcraft? No, just me projecting my anxieties. Sorry. Wait, does this mean you're nervous? Only because you made- Because I'm nervous too! Nisha didn't tell me anything about having to compose the music for the festival. I just thought she wanted to hang out all summer when she asked me to come here. And when I confronted her about it, she just said oops and thought she mentioned it. She what? Let's curse her! I love how petty she could be. Human friends are overrated. I can't say much to that since I don't have any non-human friends, but I would have at least appreciated a heads up. Then again, it's Nisha, who is very much a gets idea and then idea must happen kind of person. But it seems like you've agreed at this point. I guess. We talked it over and she apologizes, of course. It's just performing in front of people kind of makes me... Oh no, Devin is starting to look like they did yesterday. Time for an emergency subject change. How long have you and Nisha been friends? She was one of the first people I met at school. In a way, in a way, I would find these drawings slid under my door every morning. Eventually, I put two and two together and realized it was mornings after I'd been practicing my music. One night, I stayed up and waited for the drawing and caught Nisha in the act. She'd been making drawings inspired by whatever I was playing at the time. She was embarrassed when I caught her, but as soon as we started talking, it was like we'd always known each other. Wow, that's so cute. That's like almost romantic. Sounds like a true friendship. I'm gonna keep it a friendship thing. Yep, I value Nisha's friendship a lot. She's had my back a lot of times. Friends can be great, right? Right, Ken? Oh no, time for another emergency change of subject. I don't have friends. <laughs> That was not an emergency change of subject. Wait, like, none at all? That explains a lot. <laughs> That's fine, though. I'm not great at making friends either. Honestly, I think it's pretty hard. Opening up to people, putting yourself out there. Maybe us nobodies of Flora should stick together. You know, I'm usually not this forward with people, but I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay. Okay, so does this mean we're friends now? I would say so. We're friends now. We're friends now. I'll let you get back to work. I'm sure you have lots to do. Bye, friend. Uh, bye. A, a new friend that isn't a familiar is my heart fluttering or pounding maybe both this is a very strange feeling a strange feeling indeed i'm glad there's only one more delivery to make that was so cute i'm gonna cry <laughs> you walk up and knock on the door ken good to see you can i help you with something yep i've got your order it's this one one batch of reconnection incense handmade by yours truly wonderful how exciting they should help me get back into the swing of things are you not excited about the festival oh i wouldn't say that it's just been hard to motivate myself recently perhaps my old age is finally catching up to me how long have you been the mayor of flora hmm maybe 40 or so odd years now 40 years it does sound like a long time when you put it that way you must be like the best mayor ever to get elected for 40 years straight now i don't know about that 
Mostly I ran uncontested. Flora is a small village, so there aren't many people vying for my position. Though I suppose Flora hasn't always been small. So much has changed over the years, especially the festival, and perhaps not for the better. Sorry you don't want to hear the grumbles of an old lady. No worries. My spells can fix everything. I'm used to grumbling old ladies. I've got some revenge magic. I'll say my spells can fix everything. This must be the ego I've read so much about. Though I could probably use some of that energy. So could my gran. She's always, Ken, magic doesn't fix things. It aids in the fixing of things. There's a difference. Grandmothers. We are the ones that ruin all the fun. Does that mean a grandmother shouldn't be in charge of the festival? That is a good question. Young people like you give us all these energy though. We've got to do our best to keep up. I love this festival because of the energy of everyone coming together towards a common goal. Not that everyone isn't working hard now. I know they are, but somehow it doesn't feel the same. Well, for me at least. Oops, here I go again with my grumbles. Wait, were you only excited for the festival because other people were excited about the festival? I wouldn't say that's entirely true because that would mean you were never f truly excited for the festival. Now just hold on a second. It's part of my job as mayor to make sure others are excited, not just my- I think I know why you've run uncontested all these years. Being mayor is annoying. Being mayor is exhausting. Being mayor is torture. I'll say exhausting. Having to keep everyone happy to make sure you're happy? That sounds like- Huh, Ruth? It's that same expression from yesterday. Did you lose focus again? What the- Greetings, Ken. Are you excited about the festival? Uh, it's just around the corner, you know. And there's still so much to get done. Ooh, what's going on? I do hope you enjoy your stay in Flora. We're so happy to have your assistance during this time. I must get back to my mayoral duties, if you don't mind. Have a lovely rest of your day. Ruth subtly, but definitely pushes you out the door. That was terrifying. I'm just going to pretend that was totally normal. At least that was the last delivery. Which means at least I get to go home now, but I think I'm ready for a nap. That was kind of terrifying. I don't know if that was supposed to be like her repressing and like pushing things down and then just like going back to normal or like something else. That was kind of scary. Delivery's completed and I'm exhausted. How's my first day? I think I've decided people are weird. Yeah, I'm trying, but the whole fitting in thing is hard. I guess everyone seemed friendly except that Gene guy. He kicked me out of his house. Before you ask, no, I did not nearly set it on fire. He did. I actually tried to save him. But I guess Devin and I are friends now because they don't have friends or at least not many. And the mayor seems a little off. I don't know. It's been a weird day. I think I just want to go to sleep now. Yeah, I just gotta keep up till the full moon, and then all will be sorted. Sleepy time! I'm guessing this is gonna be the end of the demo. Yawn! It's morning again? And we have more orders already? Looks like we got another full day ahead of us. Guess we better get started. Oh, I guess not. Does this demo keep going? Damn. Oh my god, okay, well this demo keeps keeps going. Oh, maybe this is the last day, or maybe the last day is the 8th, and then you have to, I don't know, but this is really fun. I love this. I am obsessed with this, like, from the artwork, to the, like, play style, to the kind of, like, story-based vibe of it, where you're not, like, walking around with kind of just, like, you know, scenes being explained. I love it. I'm so excited for it to come out. Um, let me see if there's any info on when it comes out. I always do this at the last second. All right, it just says 2022. So on PC, 2022, I don't think that there's plans for it to come out on Switch yet. Yeah, so PC, 2022 release. We'll see, I'm excited about it. It looks so cute. Um, let me know if you're excited about it. This will come out after the demo is available. So sorry about that. Sorry if you didn't get a chance to try it, but I hope this demo helps you get excited for it. And I love you, stay cozy, bye.